Hi friends, this is Marie at Living Felt with a little tutorial on making fantasy wings for your felted dolls. This is Ona. She is needle felted of wool and her clothes are mostly wet felted, but her wings are made out of Angelina film. I chose the color Forest Blaze. It looks brown at first until you heat it. It gets these beautiful purple hues. And I also decided to use twigs from my pecan tree in my yard instead of wire because that would make her look a little more woodsy and a little more ratty and a little more earthy. But wire works great as well. So you'll want to start off with a wing pattern and we have a PDF with over 15 wing patterns that you can choose from. That's on our site. Cut your film to be larger than your wings and I taped the first sheet in place so it doesn't slide around. Then I cut my first twig to be the main line running up the wing. All the other pieces are going to branch off of it and I taped it in place so it doesn't slide around either. I glued each extension off that main branch in place so that it doesn't slip around when we shrink the Angelina film. If you're using wire, you can just pre-wrap the wire and follow your wing pattern. Because this pattern doesn't have an external wire going around the outside of the wing, it'll make a really fun effect. So while the glue's still wet, put the top piece of Angelina film down if you're using two pieces and then press it so the glue adheres to both sides. I let mine sit overnight so that the glue is completely dry before we apply heat. People apply heat with different ways. Some people use an embossing machine, some people use a candle, some people use a hairdryer, and I used more like an industrial heat gun. This was really effective and I found it much more effective than a candle. And of course an embossing machine would have just broken my twigs, but if you're using wire you might like that. You have to pull off so that you don't overheat and make holes where you don't want them. But holes are fun to make and definitely worthwhile, which we'll look at in a minute. It's cool to see how the colors change. And what you'll notice as you're applying the heat is that the film can just kind of get soft. The most important thing is to get it to flatten, the two sides to flatten together. That's really ideal to get them to mash together. But the Angelina film bonds to itself and not other items, so the twigs are really just sandwiched inside of that film. The next is to cut out a basic perimeter, and I cut out, I don't, maybe I left a quarter of an inch to melt two with the flame. So I'm sorry I go a little off camera here, but just trim a little way, a little away as you'll see, and that'll give us some room to melt and shape. You'll also notice that off the top of my wing, one of the twigs is sticking out, and that was part of my design. I thought it seemed very fanciful. Now to shape the wings and further melt the film, I found it much easier to use a candle, and that way you're not worried about burning yourself with a lighter or trying to hold that still. And what you'll notice as you melt your first wing, and you might even decide to make a practice wing before you make the ones for your real doll, is that you can glide along the flame, even almost parallel to the table, and make a really smooth melt line. But if you want it to be a little more lacy or even a little more ratty, you can kind of bounce the edge of the wing right over the flame like I did, and it'll dip in, as you'll see, and swoop in between the points running off that center line. The film caught on fire a little bit, but you see it's just like a little bit of a flame and it was so fast to pinch out, so I was never concerned about it at all. I'm very sensitive to smells also. This Angelina film is a polyester um, by itself. It has a little bit of a fragrance, but I'm a very sensitive person and this didn't bother me at all. It, it, it's, not a, it's not going to stink up the room that you're working in. You don't need to worry about having it overly ventilated. Here I'm heating it a little more with the candle. It didn't do very much. I really found the heat gun the most effective, 
but I'm trying to flatten the two sides together because in a moment I'm going to put holes through the wings and it's helpful if those two sides are more flat rather than having a, a pocket. You can use um, incense or some other maybe like a skewer to make holes. I just used one of my twigs. And I make a small hole all the way through the film and then I use the flame to further widen that hole. Since my wings are for a, more like a woodland fairy, I didn't want them to be perfect. Uh, incense would make a much more perfect hole because it's very round and kind of beefy. What you'll also notice is that if the film is not flat, the both sides flat together where you're making the hole, it can tend to shrink a, at different degrees, the two. But that didn't bother me. Um, just if it's a concern for you, you might want your wings to be very flat. You might consider ironing or and you might consider using wire instead of twigs, which have a you know variegation in their thickness. You can trim these holes or trim the wings with like a puff paint or glitter paint or glow in the dark paint. You can add glitter. You can add micro beads. There's so many things you can do to dress them up. And here's mine. They don't match exactly, which is exactly what I wanted. And I love how the colors came out. So now to prepare them to mount to my fairy, I attached a little bit of wire to that long main stem. And I just used glue. This is actually Paperpal and a little bit of Merino top to wrap the wire to this twig. You could use um, like a waxed floss or ribbon or um, waxed thread, anything that works for you. Since I made a fiber doll, fiber made the most sense. And I just want a little bit, um, I'm only putting fiber a little ways down the twig because I'm gonna cut the rest off for mounting it onto her back. I let those sit overnight. Just to dry fully before putting them on her. So I cut off the balance of the wings and where the wire for the two wings extends off, I twisted those together down into a point. So that's is how they'll mount on her back. Those two extending wires I twist together down into a point and fold it back up on itself. And then I poked a hole in the back of the doll with an awl and put that down in her back. I didn't glue them in place because I want to be able to remove them when she travels. The twigs are really quite fragile. So if you want something a little more durable, you might use wire. That's it for this time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and we hope you share your wings with us at livingfelt.com and in our Facebook group, Living Felt Friends. Thanks guys. Have a great day.